Hi guys, Scotty here. Um, it's uh, Wednesday. I've got a week off this week, so I've been um, trying out some R&R. &R. I've, uh, I don't know how to explain this, but I've had some some issues. Things have been building up, so <coughs> I've not been. Uh, not been in the mood for getting stuff done on cars and whatever. So we've had um, a couple of nice days out. Been out to um, a place oh, about an hour away from here, which is called um, Stourhead Gardens. Really nice place with the two girls, with the daughters, um, and had a nice day there. Went to the cinema with Mary. Um, just basically trying to get the mood back up, you know. So Mary's desperate to get her car. I'm uh, falling short on the promise of getting it done for her. So I'm just trying to now um, I'm in a better mood. Get my finger out and try and get it finished. It's really not that much to do on it now. It's just really finishing touches. Um, the uh, well, let's run through what I've been doing anyway, and then you can, you can see what I'm up to. Um, some of the little finishing touches, I guess, is uh, to make a battery, to secure the battery in the in the boot. Um, so I've made up this little little um, battery tray, I guess you call it, and uh, it's stuck to the plug. I use the Rust-Oleum paint. So the battery's um, obviously going to sit in there. Do you know, as I'm getting older, I'm getting weaker. Uh, with a couple of little brackets. Go on like that. So that'll be securing the boot. I'm going to get some uh, rubber boots for the top of there because when Mary flings her shopping in she can uh, spark stuff out probably um, petrol tanks painted and ready to go in uh, what else the flying M is in gold basically bought um, it's actually brushed on, but it uh, came out okay, so I'm happy enough with that. I've got a big old fail on my um, on the uh, the state of this place on the chrome wrap. You can see that it's all lifted on the corner. Um, the uh, the sign man that we use at work basically um, gave me the impression that um, some of the wraps you can buy on eBay etc are just um, cheap copies of the uh, decent stuff like 3M and all that they obviously do the proper stuff it's a cheap copy and it's um, just not up to the job I mean it's um, so after a bit of discussion with quality control master Young Miss Mary, um, I started ripping it off, and we're going to just. Uh, I haven't got the money to get me uh, get the bumpers chrome. That's that's a simple fact. Um, so they're going black, which is what I started putting on in the first place to give me a clean finish to put the wrap on. So they're going to just go black. I'm going to get them off again, get them cleaned up, get my little gun out, and. Um, spray and black so that's the plan on that I've got to find some rubbers for here just got to find that I've got to finish the inside um, I greased it up yesterday um, you know I was, I was listening to watching um, uh, cut worm 
59 he was saying he hates I think he says he hates greasing cars um, and I'm the same because you end up just grease everywhere try and be as clean as you can um, my little workshop obviously doubles up for every, well I have to do everything in there and um, last thing you want is bloody grease everywhere but so we greased, greased myself and, uh, and some bits on the car so that's quite good <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I don't know if anyone can notice I've lost a bit of weight. I've, um, I did get up to a huge amount of weight. I'm not going to tell you how much because it's so embarrassing. But um, yeah, hideous. So I've lost four stones so far. I'm going to keep going on that. Um, it's done my skin a lot of good. Some people may have noticed with me. I, uh, I, one of my seemingly loads of ailments is I've got, I've, uh, got psoriasis and um, it's been gradually getting worse and worse and worse and uh, well I've changed the sort of things I eat. Um, me and Stevie at work we, we've been doing all sorts of weird diets <coughs> and um, weird and wonderful diets I guess you'd say and uh, I'm to put my camera down so I need a roll of fag, cigarette. <laughs> Um, and we watched, he came in one day and he said, oh, you want to watch this video? And we watched this, this uh, I guess he, this, this Australian called um, Joe Cross. And we watched this, uh, um, his documentary where he went to the US and uh, helped some guys to lose some weight. So we embarked on this. We went out and bought a, a juicer and all that sort of jazz. And uh, um, God, that stuff is foul. Oh, it's, oh God, hideous stuff. But I think I lasted um, um, we were supposed to be doing 60 days. I think I lasted about 30, 35 maybe. Stevie probably did a little bit left. He's got nowhere near as much uh, bulk to get off as I have. But um, the main thing we have taken from it is uh, is the sort of theory about eating like a caveman. So um, it's working. I'm losing about three or four pounds a week. I've got a long way to go yet. Um, One day I might show you a picture of me when I played rugby and I was uh, a lot fitter and a lot slimmer. I'm back out on my bicycle. Me and Stevie uh, at work are doing 20 miles on a, on a Saturday, so that's good. Um, that's about it for now, I think. Apologies for... I've been a crap YouTube Garage gang member. The last few weeks, month, um, just not had the, not just not felt like it to be honest. To be really honest with it, just uh, been in the wrong place, I guess. But Mary's um, gone from friendly reminders to starting to nag now about wanting a car. She really, really wants a car, and I really need to get on to finish it. There really isn't that much to do. So I'll stop crying like a baby and get on with it. Because I want to get um, this is what I mean about being a crap uh, YouTube garage gang member. Um, there was a uh, John Kerry left me a comment about how how uh, convinced it was going. Well we used him quite a bit this year. Um, he's been good, he's performed well. But um, he's officially off the road now, the, the road tax, we get taxed in the UK, although, although as you can see, it's free for uh, certain classics, but um, he's dirty and dusty and I really want to get him in and uh, do some improvements, I want a five speed gearbox etc etc. I don't know you guys in the US um, afford to run your cars to be honest, your big V8s, but because uh, Vincent manages about 20, 
23, 25 to the gallon, I suppose, which isn't bad really for a six cylinder. But it's uh, about one pound forty a litre over here at the moment, just under one pound thirty-five a litre. And he likes to drink. He's a bit of a thirsty old boy. Anyway, that's um, me waffling. Uh, just need to get that battery train, get the um, get the fuel tank in. I've got um, a funny little issue with this. I don't know if it's an issue or not, but um, got a little uh, little electric fuel pump for for the Austin, and it was sat that way up, and it, I mean, I noticed it wasn't priming. It wasn't staying primed, so uh, I'm going to mount it that way up. Uh, which is going to mean I'm going to need to. Um, I've got some tubing somewhere, so I'm going to make some tubing spacers and um, then I can uh, mount it the right way up. The lad at work thinks, um, thinks that's what's causing my problems with it not staying primed. So we'll do that today. Oh, that's that. Um, bought one of these little kits, one pound. So I couldn't um, couldn't turn it down. Volkswagen Futura red yellow. So that's what the flying A's done. You get a little kit with a. They're quite cool, really, aren't they? I think it was a. It's a part kit. It's supposed to have a little bit of sandpaper or something in it. You get a primer, you get a clear coat, and you get the colour. So. For a quid, I couldn't, couldn't uh, argue with that, and it is gold, it's the colour Mary chose. She chose the colour, so anyway, I think I've spouted enough crap. Um, vaping, lad at work started it, he's enjoying it, he, he's got on a lot of it. I see there's plenty of other guys, Mark Spurns, and Neil and others are, are having a go on the vaping. I'm not allowed yet. Mary won't let me. Whenever I gave up smoking in the past, Mary always went and bought me some more tobacco. Because I uh, end up a foul tempered, foul tempered git when I've not uh, been smoking. But she wants me to get some more weight off first. So that's a good idea. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'll, um, I'll show you what I've done when I've done it. I think that's the way to do it today. See you there, guys. Charlie, want to say hello? What do you think about the proceedings today? Hey? Okay. What do you reckon? You're not going to speak today. Charlie? Charlie! Sort off, leave me alone. That's kind of what I meant about the um, mountains, rubber mounted to hopefully stop some of the noise. So if you remember, it was quite noisy, little bugger. So we'll see if that works. Don't know how well you guys are going to see this, but um, <coughs> the tank's mounted, as you can see. Um, there's my pump. With my uh, extension tubes and then the uh, rubber mounts at the top. I've got an inline fuel filter. I should have to route that um, cable. I've got an inline fuel filter going before the pump. Um, it's just a matter of uh, joining up to that little bugger. I think I have thought about. I think I need to put a. Heat shield as exhaust is just there, look. So I'm going to uh, make uh, fit that anyway. I'll um, dog out the heat away. Okay. <coughs> 